Support School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin and welcome to RealAgriculture.com. We are here at the University of Guelph today and we're joined by Greg Stewart on my Afro's Corn Lean. Welcome, Greg. All right, good to be here. Hey, um, we're going to talk a little bit of nitrogen. We're going to uh, get the chalkboard, put it to work. You've got some chalk. Yeah. But first, let's talk about that magic number. Uh, the magic number. For nitrogen. <laughs> what is the number? And, uh, you know, you're going to write it on the board. Uh, well, I'll write a number on the board for you. How about that? So 150 pounds. 150 pounds of nitrogen is, uh, is, a, is a decent recommendation if you're a reasonably high yielding guy. So say you've got a yield goal of 185 uh, bushels per acre, you're on a loam soil, uh, you've got the price of corn sort of figured for this year and what you're going to pay for nitrogen, and maybe your previous crop was uh, corn after wheat and you've removed the straw, you punch that into the nitrogen calculator, you'll come up with a number of about 150 pounds of pre-plant N. The problem is, for how many fields and how many years and how many conditions does that 150 pounds get it right? Well, that's part of the challenge. If you go to the calculator, which is on uh, go corn, spell corn, dot net, right? Go corn dot net, you can punch in your field description, sandy loam, clay loam, last year was corn or last year was soybean, and you'll come up with a pretty good ballpark number as to what your nitrogen rate should be. But if you want to get a little more strategic, uh -huh. right, then you've got to think about other things that might influence what is the right nitrogen rate for your cornfield. Now you've been talking strategy all winter long at I meetings, um, and I've seen you talk a few times. And one of the things you talk about, split nitrogen application. Now, mm -hmm. what you're saying is pre-plant, go in there with 100 pounds, and then come back, side dress, with either zero. 50, 80, or 90. Yeah, so right on. So a little strategy here. So you got yourself <laughs> a piece of chalk yeah. and a, a board. Take us through that strategy okay. and, and uh, I'll figure out what pound, how many pounds we'll put down. All right, sounds good. So, yeah, it's a, it's a really intriguing question. What is the advantage to split applications versus putting it all down up front? So what we talked about earlier, we had 150 pounds down up front. And we've contrasted that in the past few years of looking at corn. Uh, what if we change that to 100 pounds up front and 50 side dress? So reduce the amount that's up front, reduce the amount that's at risk to being leached or denitrified, and then come back and top it up with 50. The intriguing thing we found is that if it's 150 up front and you contrast that to the identical total amount of nitrogen but split it, the advantage goes to the split, but not a huge advantage. $3, $4, $5, maybe $8 advantage after you factor in application costs for doing the split application versus the 150. What we've seen in the past three years is that if you really want to get some advantage to the split application, and you, like you alluded to, 100 pounds down up front, but then make a really good decision as to what that top-up rate might be. So, for example, in 2012, uh, warm spring, not too much excess in terms of rainfall, little denitrification, not very much leaching. We came back to our plots that had 100 pounds, maybe plus some starter that would have added another 20, and guess what? The top up or the side dress rate on those fields uh, most often could have been, heavens forbid, zero. In other years that are wet and backwards and you have fairly significant rainfall events and you put the 100 pounds down up front and maybe you had 20 in the starter, the actual optimum rate to come back with in the top dress time or the side dress time might have been 80, right? So that's where we get into this idea of if you really want to get the advantage of a split application of nitrogen, you keep a, a rather modest number up front and then you look at rainfall, you look at yield potential, perhaps you could examine soil nitrate uh, levels or perhaps the color of the leaves via a green seeker or a chlorophyll meter and you use those to try to help you decide whether that top up should be as we talked about sort of the zero or the 40 or the 80 pounds of, of top up in. In our work we have zeroed in on the soil nitrate test. So we'll go back to this idea of uh, 
in our plots of putting down 100 up front. And then we do a soil nitrate test. In this case, which is sort of unique for the soil nitrate test, we actually sample right into that broadcast in. So even though we had sprayed UAN on this plot to the tune of 100 pounds of N per acre, we came back on June the 5th or June the 10th and sampled right into it, looking for some sort of a threshold nitrogen value that would guide us as to whether it's a year to top up a lot or go golfing or do something else. So our number is 36 ppm. It's still a number that we're working on, nothing really definitive here, but it's been fairly reliable so far that if you get a nitrate pool, including what you put on at least a month earlier, if you get up to 36 ppm, that's a pretty good indication that you could back off significantly on those top dress, side dress rates. That's sort of an interesting strategy that we're going to continue to explore in 2014. Now, Greg, let's talk a little bit about, I've heard some guys out there when to come in for the side dress. Should, should I come in side dress when that corn is waist high, chest high, yeah. wind's too high? Yeah, yeah, excellent. So, absolutely, there is lots of excitement out there about putting on nitrogen later. Some of the research in the past three years out of the Corn Belt has talked about the idea that 30, 35% of the nitrogen is taken up by the corn plant after tassel. That's a fairly significant number. And so that automatically leads us to the idea, ooh, what if I delayed my nitrogen application and put it down in that, you know, waist high to chest high period, pre-tassel, could I get some additional bang for the buck? Nice idea. Uh, I think we need to just think it through a little bit. So if we go back to the chalkboard for just a second. Traditional side dressers might have put 30 pounds of N down up front and then they plan on putting the rest on at knee-high corn, right? 30 pounds carries it to knee-high, not much risk there. If you put 30 pounds down and expect to carry it till it's waist-high or chest-high, you're probably going to run out of N. So if you want to play in the game of later applications of nitrogen, we go back to this idea that the upfront number has probably got to be a 60 at least, right? and maybe back to our idea that 100 is even uh, a little safer. And then you're just trying to decide, okay, when I wade into that field at waist high or chest high corn, what's gonna be my, what's gonna be my top up number? The other thing that we need to keep in mind when we start talking about these later applications of nitrogen into tall corn is what's the risk of nitrogen getting laid on the soil surface dropped from a streamer nozzle or something, right, uh, that down under the canopy, laid on the soil surface, what's the risk of that nitrogen not getting into the soil matrix to be taken up by the plant? I think you can picture dry soils on the 12th of July and you lay 40 pounds or 60 pounds of N on the soil surface, does it make it into the soil matrix? Uh, so there is some risk associated uh, with that late application that we need to at least keep that in our minds. I think for most growers, we should be targeting these later applications uh, on as sort of a July 1 application. Waste high corn, I think that's a safer approach than wading into uh, pre-tassel uh, chest high corn to get that last shot of end down. Right. So it is, get in there with a the split, yep. whether it's 60 or 100, and then come back in. You've got to figure out whether you're coming in that mid-June period where you're in knee high, yep. um, or whether you want to play a, the later game. Yeah, yeah, right? absolutely. Well, good stuff. Greg, thank you for your time. My pleasure. Great stuff. Uh, some great strategies on nitrogen. And uh, we'll plant some corn. All right.